Hello teachers, in today's video I'm going to show you how to copy over the lesson plan templates to your lesson plan notebook in the staff notebook. So if you can, please start from your email and then click on the app launcher, which is, are the little grids up here. Then you're going to look for the OneNote app. So click on the OneNote app. Make sure it's just OneNote and not the class notebook or staff notebook. So just make sure it says OneNote. And as you can see, um, my most recent notebooks come up here automatically. You might not have the Pierce ES staff notebook here under recents. So if you don't see it, please go over to shared with me and then you should see it in your shared with me list. Once you start using it, then automatically Microsoft will move it over to your recents. Okay, so go ahead and click where it says Pierce ES staff. Make sure it's 1718. That is our new notebook for this year. And while that loads, um, make sure that while you're working within the notebook at the top, you have the title of the notebook. Make sure that it's still opening 1718 and not last year's. So you see this is the title right up here. I'm in the right notebook. Um, just another reminder, you know that you're in the online version when you can see OneNote online up here on the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the online version to the desktop application. And so to get there, we're going to click on Open in OneNote. You might see a little pencil icon. It says Edit in OneNote. Go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to open. If you get a window like this, you know, where it says Remember My Choice for the OneNote, go ahead and open it. If you get a window asking about security, um, you know, that it, if it says something about um, but the notebook is not secure. Do you want us to open it? This is it right here. Then you're going to click yes. Okay, so don't worry about this. It's fine. Go ahead and click yes. And as you can see, it is starting to sync. It's loading up the sections. This might take a little longer for some um, on different computers. I've noticed that on one computer, it took like two or three minutes. On another device, it took a little less. So uh, just be patient, wait for the notebook to load and sync with, with, your, um, with your notebook application that we're, that, that we're using to open it. Okay, so our notebook has already loaded. And as you can see, we have here the title. Now it's moved over to the left. So it says Pierce ESDAP 1718. Also, you'll notice that you're in the new notebook because there's this banner now. We have this banner in the new notebook. and We didn't have it last year in the old one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this window. And so now I, I see the full view. Now on your notebook, you're going to notice the collaboration space tab, the content library tab, and then you're going to see your name here. Now, I have uh, a full access notebook, so I have the names for everyone. You will only just see your own name. So to start setting up your notebook, go ahead and click on the notebook with your name on it. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to use a different teacher who has not set up their notebooks. All right. So your notebook will look like this when you come in, when you come into your own notebook, and you're going to see here that your name comes up at the bottom. So that's how you know that you're in your notebook. Um, so all these tabs here are standard; they come with the notebook. You can remove them if you want, um, and I'll show you how to do that. So if you see here, you can click on the tab, right click, and then you can delete. And it'll ask you, "Are you sure you want to permanently delete this?" And you can say yes. Um, so those tabs, again, they're there if you want to use them, but we really don't need them for any um, purpose as far as what our, what our administration is asking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete those so I can clean up my notebook and make it look um, simple. All right, so you should be left with a little plus sign here. Go ahead and click on that, and now you can start typing in the tabs for your six weeks. So make sure that when you click or you hit enter that the that the tab actually has uh, for six weeks. 
sometimes if you don't hit enter, it'll just stay at new section. So you can continue doing that it's up in six weeks. Add another one. You're going to do the same thing for all six weeks, okay? Okay, so now you have all your six weeks tabs and they're going to be ready to start copying your templates. Um, so right now we're going to only move over the first six weeks because that's the those are the only templates that are available. So in order to get back to the main section of the notebook, we're going to use this green arrow to navigate back to the main part of our notebook, which is this part that has collaboration space and content library. So now to grab to grab the templates, you're going to go to content library, and then you're going to see up here templates. Click on templates and find the tabs with your grade level. So for this teacher, she's second grade, I'm gonna click on second grade, and then I automatically go to first six weeks. And as you can see here on this side, you have all the dates of the six weeks, and Microsoft has a message there that it's loading the templates. So right now you can't see it, but in just a few seconds, it'll pop up and you'll see how those new templates look like. All right, there it is. You notice that the new template follows the fundamental five for your for your plan. And all of these right here are links to the lead documents or the lead guides. So these are the lead guides for uh, English language arts. Here are your lead guides for math and so on for science and social studies. These right here where it says tech lessons, that's gonna be a link directly to the Trello, which the trainers put together for you and they give you um, tech um, implementation ideas for each lesson. So make sure that you guys um, know that those are there for you. Um, now let's go ahead and let's copy them over to your notebook. So what you're going to do is make sure that you're here on the date and do a right click and you're going to look for move or copy. It's right toward the middle of that column. So you're going to click on move or copy and now here you see this is our notebook and as you can see there's many layers within the notebook. So you're gonna scroll down to the bottom until you find your name. So I have all the names, but remember, you're only gonna see your own name. So I'm gonna find the name of the teacher who I started the notebook for, for this demonstration. Here she is. Once you find the notebook, the notebook with your name, click on the little square with the plus sign because that's gonna allow you to expand your notebook. Okay, so you're gonna click on that, find the first six weeks, the one that you, those are the tabs you, you, you just created. So you're gonna click on for six weeks and then you're only gonna have a button here that says copy. So go ahead and copy that. And let's do that again. So now I'm clicking on the next six weeks, uh, the next week, and I'm gonna do a right click, move or copy. And then I'm gonna scroll down till I find my name and it'll always be at the bottom. You're gonna expand the notebook with the plus sign and you're gonna click on first six weeks and then you're gonna copy it there. So you can do that for the rest of those. Now, you wanna go back and check that your templates are there. So again, you're gonna navigate with the green arrow, back, back again, and here you are back at like the home space. So here you're gonna find, again, your notebook with your name on it. And I'm gonna go through this way. So yours will just be by itself at the top. And as you can see, I'm back in this teacher's notebook and now I click on first six weeks. Right away, I don't see anything, but remember, for some reason, you always get an untitled page with each section. So I like to usually take that out so it doesn't you know, confuse me or throw me off. I delete the untitled page. And now when I click on first six weeks, then I see my first week and I see the week after. And when you finish copying all the weeks, then you're going to have all seven weeks showing up here on this side. Okay, so that's how you do um, a move or copy. You have grabbed a copy of the templates and you place it in your personal notebook. And uh, don't forget to use these links. These are very handy. And also just remember that you can navigate between the sections with a green arrow.
If you have any questions, let me know. I, I will be there on campus on Monday and Tuesdays um, of the first semester. So I'm always going to be available to you. Feel free to send me an email or a text message if you have any questions over the weekend. And, um, and I hope that this has helped you set up your lesson plan. Thank you.